I'm not worthy. I'm Wait not worthy. Oh. I'm not worthy. Thou art worthy. Well, it's weird, it's weird for me to be sitting here with you in that seat. Don't feel that way. I I'm back in show business, I think. <laughs> you are. Wow. Do we know how to welcome a star in California? Wow. I mean, do we know? Oh, no. A native, native California. Native California. How many are native Californians? It didn't used to be that. A big welcoming party. I was surprised, I have to tell you. How come the mayor didn't put his hand up on, are you a native Californian? <laughs> I don't know. Is that legal? This or is, is that really sure? embarrassing. <laughs> Did they take a shot? I don't think they got oh, it. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> but we have an ISO. We'll get it in editing. Oh, welcome to California, Listen, Murph, Rosie. Thanks. When I was a kid, I have to tell you, I would come home from school. My Nana would make a big bowl of popcorn. We would sit and watch you every single day was my father. Was your dad? Yes, oh, not me. Because oh, you look the same, <laughs> you do, you look the same. That was me. Yeah, that Thank was, those you. were great times. Oh, the best. It was a show you could watch with your grandma and your kids and everybody yeah, enjoyed it. It was fun. Favorite guests among Favorite them? Favorite guests, well there were some, see like you, there are some people born for talk shows. Yeah. You're born for talk show. You well, Irish? I enjoy it, I'm Irish. Okay. I like it. I mean, there's certain qualifications. You're, you're, you're Irish. I'm Irish. Catholic? Catholic. Nuns? Nuns. That's it. That's me too. See? I could have been Rosie. You are, in I fact. I am. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's true. A lot of people are born for talk shows. I mean, there was no greater raconteur than Orson Welles. Orson Welles. He was there all the time. Toadie Fields. These are people, no notes, no nothing. Now, Toadie Fields. Hermione Field. Gingo. Oh. You remember Hermione Gingo? Yes, I do. Gingo? I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> but what a great guest. But Toadie, my favorite, Toadie. I have to tell you. Oh, I love Toadie that. Fields. And when she, after she had her surgery and came back on mm. your show, that was so heartbreaking. You know, everybody sent her these great bouquets of flowers. I searched the whole town until I found this awful little cactus plant with a tree that was like that. <laughs> and I sent it to her. She took it, that son of a gun, that, he's rich. Look what he said, a <laughs> terrible looking, this is disgusting. <laughs> she did that on your show too, Yeah, and she? then when I went in to see her in the hospital, and it was pretty tough, sure. there she was and she said, I'm not speaking to you, I'm not speaking to you. Look at these flowers, Steve and Edie, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at that lousy tree. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. She was great. She was the Loved best, her. really a was. Lot. You ever, you ever get out of control? Because, I, I mean, sometimes it gets so crazy. Did you, did you ever lose control? What do you want out of control? You do, you want You that? want planned out of control. Planned chaos. Yeah, let's like uh, rehearsed uh, demonstrations, like uh, political campaigns. They have rehearsed <laughs> demonstrations. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, sir. <laughs> Give them a 15, <laughs> 15 minute rehearsed demonstration. Well, you want craziness. Sure. You know, you want stuff to happen. I remember we booked on, um, uh, Burt Reynolds one time with Sophia Loren because he said, I read in something, he just adored her. So we booked him on together. He wouldn't look at her. Really? And they sat as close as this. They sat together like this, and he looked straight ahead. And I said, right on the air, Burt, look at Sophia. Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> and it wasn't until way in the show that he even turned and looked and went, oh, my God, it's just impossible. Too nervous. Yeah. Now, I know your show started the same week that the Johnny Carson same show. Same day. Same day. Same studio. Wow, what was that? I was taping at 12 noon, and he was taping at 6.30 at night, and we were like enemies, because oh. we both were fighting for guests. It caused a rivalry. Sick. Terrible. No kidding. And one time, his editor took my name out of the show, and I remember going on the air the next day and said, you know, the audience, they took my name out of the show. What is Merv, the new four-letter word? You know, and ooh, sure. fight. So they sent in the big guns at NBC and said, gotta stop it, boys. Then we became great friends. Yeah. And I'm a great admirer. He did, he's he did the a, best. I, don't you think he's no, the best? No, I'm the best. He's next okay. to you. No, no he's all right. He's I'm all in right. next to you. Next to you. You swear? Right next you to you. You swear? I swear. I couldn't stay every night for him because it was on at 11. Oh, but yeah, you, a, 4 o'clock with my Nana, yeah. every single oh, one. wow. Never wow. missed a show. And Stephen Eady. How much did I love Stephen Eady? Oh, I know. We Great. couldn't get them here. We, you know, the one we get Prince, we get the biggest star. We can't get Stephen Eady. Well, they're like touring all over the world. They're they don't so do busy. live appearances. They don't. No, they're this big. Well, they are. And they don't want. They're very small. People. They're tiny people. They're little people. They don't want audiences to see that. It's all done with the camera yeah. angles. We had a famous movie star in this town a lot, on this particular studio, yeah. like Universal, and he was the greatest hero ever in movies, the greatest but he wasn't quite five feet. But in movies, he looked, I'm not gonna say his name because you all know him, and it wouldn't be nice. Uh, Can you tell me at the break? Uh-huh. Yeah. And, 
and then if they pay me, I'll tell them. Okay. <laughs> and they had to cut a trench, and the, you know, the, the leading lady walked in the trench. No kidding. And they do their love scenes, and you know. Yeah. You had my Tommy on, I saw in the clip. Yeah. He is, look at what that kid has become. I saw the show you did with him. I laughed till I cried. Can I just say one thing? What? <laughs> Now he was. You met him in my hotel. I did. So there must be a name for me. There is actually. <laughs> the first child you know, will be named Merv after. Can you. you believe the body of work of that kid? When you look at the pictures, he. No, work, work. Listen, Merv, you just mentioned his name, and endorphins raced through my oh, body oh. uncontrollably. I can't. Even, I don't even know how it, it's a chemical reaction oh I have to this man. God. And it's, when I saw him, cute as a button, promoting risky business uh, in that clip. Isn't that a great? Tingly, Merv. Tingly? I was tingly. <laughs> He's the best. I mean, Jerry Maguire has to be one of the funniest, perform best performances, funniest movies I've seen in years. That is a great film. My Tommy. Back with Merv Griffin. God. So great to have you here, it oh, really Oh, Rosie, I just love you. And I watched that show, and it's perfect. I mean, you arrived at the right time, you stuck your neck out. Yeah. We talked about that one time in Atlantic City. I mean, that's a lot of chances to take doing a show they all said oh you can't bring entertainment back yeah i was working entertainment should not be on television that's true when i was working at, at merv's uh, hotel and i said to him what do you think if i do try to do your show for the 90s and yep. you're the one who told me to do it i know and i'm here to collect the royalties today. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't that be fun oh, you don't need it after writing that jeopardy song do oh, you oh no. no isn't that something? you wrote most the... people don't know that tell them well it was at a time that the fall of the scandals. You saw that movie that Robert Redford produced, Quiz Show or whatever it was. And I knew I couldn't use that bump, 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 because everybody associated with that song went to jail. So <laughs> I needed a, a, a period of time, 30 seconds, where they would you know, take time to do Final Jeopardy. So I just sat down at a piano and went da, 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 da. And I did it until it was 30 seconds and stopped. There you go. It's played at every NFL game, every basketball. Whenever the umpires or the referees have to make a decision, the guy on the organ goes, and that's money. <laughs> <laughs> so, now, people did And some Wheel of Fortune, too. Wheel of Fortune? Oh, really? Yeah. You do them all? Oh, yeah. You're going to play for us later, I'm going right? to do the yeah, theme for the you're show. You're going to do it. Oh, yeah. For this show? Oh, yeah. No kidding. Rosie. Rose O'Day, remember that? Rose O'Day. I don't know Rose O'Day. Rose, you're my filiger, which is cinema, which is all the rally boom. Do the A Rose. That's why you don't know it. No, I don't, but I'd like to learn it, maybe would, at the break. That would be good. We'll serenade the audience. Do she beat the boot to beat the Rose Dune? I don't know it. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> the mayor remembers it. It's his campaign <laughs> song, as a matter of fact. <laughs> You're my filigar roaches in a marucha father rally boop to the A. <laughs> now, um, tell me this, the weirdest thing someone ever did to get, to get on your show. The weirdest was in New York. Uh, we did the show from the theater next door to Sardis. Big alley, you know, you walk down to the stage door. And one night I came out, and because of where it was, and the theater district, there were lots of people in the streets and police on horseback, and there was a huge carton there. Yeah. And they, some man standing there said, delivery for Mr. Griffin. It was a gigantic wooden carton. And the sides fell out and everything. There was a the little man with a piano and a girl started singing, fine and dandy, da 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 da. <laughs> she started auditioning. And I went, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and ran. Did you book him or did you well, think? No, I, no. I, I thought it was a, some kind of an attack or something. Yeah, right. I, I know guess they got There was yeah. a guy, a comedian, who kept picketing or something. He wanted. He picketed. But you Tony put him Love on the... from up above. That's right. Wherever I went, um, this man was across the street with a picket. Tony, I mean, picket sign. Tony Love from up above. Follow this out to California. Never met him. And then. Did you book him on the show, though? No. You never did. I thought you did once. I think we did. I think once. you did, and he was horrible. And I picketed. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he was bad. But uh, and then Ms. Miller. Oh, oh, God love Ms. Miller. Did she ever Miller. miss a show? Never. Never miss And she show. took the bus out. And she said, Oh, Merv, it was terrible. I used the bathroom. And wouldn't you know, the minute I got in there and was doing my thing, he slammed on the brakes, and I hadn't shut the door, and I rolled right down the aisle. <laughs> oh, Miller. That was Miss Miller. She was the best. Rolling along. Orson Welles, last appearance ever. Tell yeah, everyone but this. but we didn't know that. Who, I know. Tell See, I never saw a guest before the show. No. Never. Because I, 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 it would rattle them and it would rattle me. And it was more fun because it was spontaneous. So one night I came down the stairs, opened the door, and there was Orson standing. And he said, Merv, you know, we've never allowed anybody to talk about my past. Always the future. And I said, I know. 
And I, he said, tonight, I feel like talking. And I said, about everything? And he said, everything. And I said, the women, the ones you married and, and went with, or Rita Hayworth, or Marlena Dietrich, he said, everything. Ask me anything you want. And I did. And on the show, there's a line where I say to him, how do you feel? He went, wonderful. Two hours later, he died. He died. Yeah. Oh. So I'm not telling you nothing. No. no. <laughs> nothing. Fair enough. <laughs> Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Merv and I are gonna do a little thing at the piano. Yeah. What are they fun. applauding? They're applauding you. Stick and the on. dog. And the dog. Oh. How about that? You like it? I love it. It's that little elbow thing. Now, people don't know that you're like a trained concert pianist. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, when did you start playing piano? Greek's piano concerto. Takes 90 minutes. Oh, alrighty. No. Rose of day, Rose of day. You're my fellow Garucci, Cinema Rucci, Balder, Rolly, Boom, Tootie. Rose of day, Rose of day. You're my French fried potatoes, yodels, and ooh. Da 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 da, Jeopardy, you're on Jeopardy. Do you know the answer, you dummy? Jeopardy. That's the lyrics. Did you know that? I wrote no. lyrics for you. Did you write it? Okay, wheel. Wheel. Did I play enough to get paid? No. <laughs> now, here, I have your number one single right here. What? I've got a lovely bunch oh, yeah, of coconuts. That was many years ago. How did that get it? There were no 45s when I yes, made Yes, there were. This is a real. No, they, they, they put it on the 45s. No. Because when I did, trust me. Merv, listen, what trust do you think? Me. I had this made in the prop shop. They didn't Take have 45s in 1950. Well, they must have, because here it is. It's you know, they revived that in Lion King. They did? Yeah. Let's hear. Yeah. Down at the. Down at an English fair, one evening I was there when I heard a showman shouting, up. Please, that throws it off. <laughs> well, underneath the flare, oh, I won't have a bunch of coconuts. There they are, standing in the row. Big ones, small ones, some as big as your head. You give them a twist to fit with the wrist, that's what the showman said. Rose all day, <laughs> rose all day. You're my <laughs> filling of rich Yeah. Okay, um, now listen. St. Patrick's Day is coming. It is. We're going to do a little and Irish. And you love Ireland. I'm Irish. Have you been there? I have, darling. I went over to Tyrone with me father in oh. 1973. To, to, to Tyrone? To Tyrone, darling. Tyrone, my darling. My family's from Tipperary. A long way to Tipperary. It is a long, a long way, way, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and County Clare. County Clare near yes. County Cork. Near County Cork. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know it well. We're going to sing a little Irish. What do you got? Sure. Uh, do you know uh, over in Kilhoney? Many years ago. Let's do it. Do you know it? I know the chorus. My mother sang a song to me with words so sweet and low. It's a simple little ditty in her good old Irish way. And I'd give the world if she could sing that song to me this day. Now here's Rosie. Tora, Laura, Laura. Too high? I don't know. Tora. Is it, it's too high, too high, too high. Is it too high. wrong for me? Are you? Too Oh, look how you can change the, he just did the whole thing and changed the key. You know how long it takes John McDee to do that? About three weeks. Laura, Laura, Laura. Hush, now don't you cry. Played it all night long. It's Laura, Laura, Laura. Laura, Laura, lie. That's a beautiful, give me that again. Lie. Gorgeous, Is it good? Gorgeous. Did you like that? Yes. Laura, 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 that's an Irish la 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 by the John Wayne Cancer Institute yep. in April, a That's, very big and prestigious award. Yep. And I, very like nice. everyone else, I'm so happy that you're here and that you're healthy and with thank us. thank you. It's great to have you here in California. It's great to have you in New York. It's great to have you on television. Well, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be there. Entertainment. Merv Griffin, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back with that ad.